Welcome to Peugeot Sport headquarters. OG, thank you very much to uh, welcome us here uh, in this garage. He's going to explain us who is he, and especially how he's going to build this car. <laughs> basically in charge of the development of the car and the racing and the operation of it as well. Last year, your car was beautiful, special, no rear wings, special tires. Why did you build a car with no rear wings last year? Well, it's all about the car concept we had initially. Uh, initially, the car was designed to run uh, 31, 31 tires, very much forward aero distribution, very much forward weight distribution as well. Uh, and it just happened like that, actually. One day we were in the wind tunnel, the car was uh, too draggy and had too much downforce compared to the aero performance window. And it was very short and easy fix. We, we, we removed the wing and, and we realized that the car was actually <laughs> not, not far away from the window like at the time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this solution had many uh, advantages in terms of uh, car design. The rear end is very simple. Why do you change uh, the tires? When we started this project in 2020, the, the, the regulation was, was slightly different. Uh, all LMH four-wheel drive car had to run the 31-31 tires, which were the tires we had last year. Very soon in the project, we identified that there was uh, some performance potential in 2934, but at that time, we were not allowed to do it. So we basically developed a car. What the, the whole concept of the car was to run uh, very much forward aero. We had to the 31, 31 tires. We realized that with, with this, um, this allowance for the, the LMH four-wheel drive car to run 29-34 tires, always missing uh, traction, especially slow speed traction. Okay, because with the big tires, you could have more power earlier. Correct, you can have more power earlier on the, on the rear. So, so now you lose a little bit of that. Exactly. Uh, so now we're going to lose a bit of, of this by, by coming to the, the same tires as the others. So somehow we're trading off some, some very, very slow speed traction, which we're going to get now by some middle speed traction we, that we are, we are going to lose. We're going to get speed out of the corner, but it's mostly the, 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 the edges of the corner that will be different. Okay, yeah. so that's been, just to be simple, you put all the weight on the front of the car. Right. What is the advantage for that? Well, basically, try to balance the loads on the tires on all four tires, so you can make the, the you know the, the optimum of the grip. Um, trying to really move the weight forward, move the aero distribution forward, which means you didn't need actually rear wing at a time for the aero balance. And what we thought was that rather focus on extracting the aerodynamic performance from the underfloor uh, than the than the wing itself. Okay. And that's how the, the first car concept was born. Yeah, it's, it looks super flat. Like, it looks like it's going to be super fast on the straight line. But on the other side, you put those gurneys there with these big holes over there. It's kind of a um, contrast with the aerodynamics. It looks like a contrast for the aerodynamics. How does it work simply? I mean, the regulations say that you have to have at least uh, a minimum level of drag. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you can see we're adding some uh, gurneys there, and kind of things just to create drag on the car. There are some constraints about safety, for instance. The car has to be stable to side wind. Uh, so we have to, to demonstrate by, by the calculation that the car cannot really uh, roll over. If you want to really pass this homologation and pass the criteria, you have to have something. But I mean, this, side, this part of the car, all the monocoque, the, the door, uh, the windscreen and the, um, and the uh, air intake at the top, mm -hmm. that's probably the only part of the car that has not changed. We did some, some, some improvements on the ergonomy, okay. for, on the console, for the switches, kind of things. You know, drive and drink bottle, all, all the driver environments has been, uh, has been improved as well. Uh, but there are small changes, I would say. The, the, all the rest of the cars, all the surfaces are changed. So the car looks very much the, the same in, you know, from the front. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's nice. Look at it uh, from the back. It's so big with those two exhausts. That, uh, it's, it's beautiful. As I explained, part of the challenge, we had to try to integrate this new aero uh, kit, uh, integrate the ring on the car without uh, changing too much the, 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 the overall look of the car. And I think we, we managed to do that. Uh, if you look carefully, you would see that almost every single surface on the car has moved a little bit. What actually changed the most is the wing and the underbody, which you, which you can't see. What we can hope for you this year? Some wind? Some wins, some, one win. some performance, fighting for the for podiums and wins on a regular basis. I think okay. it will be I think it will be very important for the team. Uh, we we put a lot of effort into, into this uh, this project, into redoing this new car. It was very challenging doing it while racing the old, the old car at the same time. Yeah, we're looking really much forward to to race this car in the motor. I can't wait to see this car in action, especially in Le Mans, because you know it's a special race. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Really like Thank it. You.